it's really a privilege to welcome two more uh, wahine toa to, to our stage. Um, two people who have worked tirelessly to to help Akonga Māori and um, Kaiako Māori to reach that distant horizon. Um, and also, it's nice to see uh, their colleague in the room too, um, who, who have shared so much of hard work and knowledge throughout um, Waitaha. Um, so our next, our next presentation, our next thinking and our, our thought leader, I'd like to welcome um, two representatives, two kaimahi from Mātauraka Mahanui, um, Tina Kōrua, um, Ngā Hine Ngāko, um, he pātaka o te reo, me mātauraka Māori, no mai, haere mai, kōrero mai. Welcome to Alicia and Dai. Um, ngā mahi ki a koe, he Kayleigh, ko kōrero, he whakahākai ki um, he ngā pai ako, ki ngā uh, rangatira uh, Māori, ki whakahākai, ki a uh, tamariki ka katoa. I tēnā i ake mahi ki a koe. Um, kia ora koutou, he uri a hau no te ruhi o kōtai o te kingitanga. Um, Tauperi te maunga, ko waikato te awa, ko tainui te waka, ko Nati te ata me ngā Nati tipa aku hapu, no Alicia Puruo ahau. Nā rei te ofa ki a koutou. He mihi hoki tēnei ki ngā kaupapa haere o tēnei wānanga. Kia ora koutou. Nā mihi nui ki te whare. Uh, tuatahira, kei te tautoko nga mahi ko mihi a kia koe e te rangatira, uh, me tō hoa, uh, tā hoa, uh, tautoko hoki te mahi ki a koe tauna kā whakahaere. Kia koe, Kelly, he rawe te kiti anō ki te rongo i tō kōrero. Um, tata ki tō ki kōrero o te tairawhiti hoki. Uh, ki a koe tau ko imi mai nei, nga mau hara mai he rawe ki te kiti o koe tau kanohi. Uh, te tahi me e kiti anō, ka hoki mai mahara ki te wā. Uh, huri hoki au nō te tairawhiti, uh, kei te kihi au ki te whakaote te fiti o te waiata. Taku mana wā, ki te tairawhiti. Kelly started it, get the extra line in. <laughs> Ko mā o tahi, ko Joanne Robinson tēnā, uh, nei rā te ofa ki a koutou. Uh, Ka tīnata te, te rangatiri te karakia nō reira ka haere tunu, māua. Uh, our perspective, this is our brief, a focused 10-minute address to all attendees. <laughs> <laughs> we wish to focus more on a Naitahu perspective in this region, but don't panic, we haven't gone rogue. It's just that these Māori, and we're not speaking for all Māori in the room, just these two in front of you right now, we like to do things our way, uh, and this will lead back to the curriculum, we promise. <laughs> Through the mahi of Mā Pauraka Mā Nui, the foundation has been laid through the cultural narratives for kura to engage with their local story, the local history, the flora and fauna, the tribal migration and economy, and in this area, it is usually based on mahi no kai. For te wai paunamu, te runga, o, te runga o Naitahu have the contract to deliver the Naitahu voice into the Aotearoa New Zealand History's curriculum development over the next five years. The intention is for all New Zealanders to have a better understanding of this country's natural and cultural histories in local and national contexts and in their transnational connections. So who is Te Runanga o Naitahu? Te Runanga o Naitahu is the mandated representative for all Hapata Te Runanga of Te Waipainamu. Currently, over 70,000 registered members and rep represents the commercial and social development initiatives as directed by those 18 Hapata Te Runanga, giving authentic voice to any story that is shared. The Naitahu Takiwa encompasses the majority of Te Waipaunamu south of the V-shaped, as you can see up there, 
line running from Te Parinui or Fiti on the east coast and Kafugangi Point on the west coast, as well as several in islands including Rakiura, the Titi Islands and Subantarctic Islands. Models and case studies of Māori history and normative statements about Māori culture are almost exclusively based in Te Ika Māori, the North Island. The impact of colonisation in the early 1800s has impacted widely on the well-being, the economy, the social dynamics of iwi Māori and essentially the sovereignty of iwi Māori. We unashamedly promote that everyone should develop an understanding of Ngaitahu to understand Aotearoa New Zealand histories. The history of this place started way before colonisation. So we've got a wee little video here and we're just going to make sure we can get it going at the right place. This is our home. Our tipuna formed its peaks, carved out its rugged coasts, fashioned its lakes and network of rivers, configured its rolling hills and smoothed its sweeping plains. Waitaha, the first people of Te Waipona, journeyed here on the Uruwa Waka. They were followed by the migrations of Ngāti Māmui and Maito. By the mid-18th century, through warfare, intermarriage and political alliances, a common allegiance to Ngaitahu was formed. Ngaitahu wo. Kia ora. So we can see that tribal migration is a great starting point. Under the mantle of Aotearoa New Zealand histories is already an established starting point. We can share some good starting points so we don't have to wait until there's a curriculum developed fully in order to start to understand the history of your area prior to settler arrival. You do need to hear from the people of the land to hear their voice and that's being provided locally via workshops. We'll link to the information to enrol later. But in the meantime you can start reading and researching to support the knowledge shared by mana whenua. To us that would start with tribal migration. This magnificent narrative tells of Ngaitahu's migration from the Wellington area into the South Island, making their way by sea and land as far as Rakiura, Stewart Island, and Fjordland, the Titi Islands, and the Subantarctic Islands. The people settled, fought, intermarried, establishing their genealogical right to the land. This work is based on the Carrington text, which takes the history to the next generation of Ngaitahu readers and to the world beyond Te Māori. Te Maire To has brought to the project not only his own experience in researching tribal history and his vision of, the, of a history accessible to all, but also a deep knowledge of tribal manuscripts and whakapapa, some of which are included here. This book includes information around the settlement of areas has dialogue on significant events and battles which formed some of the histories handed down into Waipanana. Must read. So this one here, Ifanoa Kikaiapoi. As we work solely in the Waitaha region, from the Hurunui in the north to the um, Hakateri in the south, we also highly recommend Ifanomai Kikaiapoi as a must read account. While some may be with schools in other Papatipu regions, this is still a great first-hand account of life in the early 1800s. The foreword states, Nā Tanahira Waruwaru Tu was a child at the time of capture at Kaipoi Pā by Te Rauparaha's Nā Te Toa warriors in 1832. The early years of his life recounted here in the original Māori text and an accompanying translation saw great change in the Māori communities of Waitaha. Canterbury and Akaroa. This manuscript was part of that material and as Jamaidi Toe describes in his introduction, has a history of its own. How would you not want to read that once you've heard it, heard that? And then of course, make contact with Iwi. Nothing about us without us. 
to arrange for a power trustee as mana whenua of that sacred and significant place to tell you from their own words the history and stories that talk of the generations of occupation prior to the famous raid that ended the power life as it was. So that's two great, great accounts, and this is the third, A Long Time Coming. This is another must read. It's the recently published A Long Time Coming, which is the story of the Naitahu settlement. Te Naitahu clan, Te Kiremi, spanned two centuries, from the first letter of protest to the Crown in 1849 till the final hearing by the Waitangi Tribunal and the, and the settlement in 1998. The link you will see shortly leads you to these accounts. A long time coming tells the extraordinary, complex and compelling story of Naitahu's treaty settlement negotiations with the Crown. It also shines a light for both Māori and Pākehā on a crucial part of this country's history that has not, until now, been widely known. And bringing it a bit more local, for more localised storying in the Christchurch region, Matapōpere, the iwi voice in the rebuilds, shares significant historical accounts into the fabric of the rebuild. Here we are in Tūranga. You will have given a mihi to on the stairs as you came up. Behind us is Puānini. On the outside, we have Paikia. Uh, we have around the stairwells, we have the story of Tafaki's ascent to gain knowledge. Uh, we've, you know, that's, that's an example of a migration story being embedded right into the fabric of this building. The wallpaper around those lifts share that ascent of Tafaki's story in a visual way. These project sheets on screen now as well as the grand narratives, allow you to find out more about these artworks that carry the Ngaitu Ahuriri voice into the rebuilt environment. That's Aotearoa history, it's right there. So we don't have to wait. We can start with contacting your local Papa Tipurunanga to hear their stories, enrol in their workshops, access these publications and many others. We can start with the storying in the central city. You can begin exploring, understanding, and leading curriculum content through the information contained in these resources. These two QR codes, and I've put um, a couple around the room, um, they link you directly to a document with the publications on it, so you don't have to remember all of this at all. Um, and to the, the Tuahiwi education page, which has information about their workshops. Um, at the present, it mentions workshop one. Oh, so we mentioned the Kent Steve workshop. That isn't actually on there yet, but it's coming for 2022. And they will run um, once a month, when they die. Yeah, I believe yeah. last Friday of every month, and the first three are already booked. Yeah. <laughs> so um, register your interest. If you don't hear back or you're on a waiting list, at least you're on the waiting list to get into those workshops. And I've lost my things. Okay. So you can get started learning about the treaty breaches that occurred as a result of Mr Kemp's actions and the subsequent seven generations of fighting to reach the point of the Naitaku claim settlement at 1998. That's our histories on your back doorstep. So that's the end of our week cordial. If you have any part time, do ask us. Um, we'll try our best to answer them. And if we can't right now, we'll undertake to find the answers to you, for you, if we can. We hope this has inspired you to engage in your with your local papatipu first. Nothing about us without us. And check out those publications as they are great starting points. Nō reira, hei whakakapi ngā mā tāua. Ko te tūmana koe he kōrero tautoko tēnei, ko a whakaohoho. Hoki ki a koutou ki te ruku hōhunu ki nga kōrero maha o konei. Kau e wariwari, ki a naro te reo te haukainga, ki a naro te tikanga me te hituri o tēnei wahi. The hope is that this has been a supportive talk for you, that it may have invigorated an interest in you all to dive deeply into the kōrero that are in those publications and so many other places as well. Uh, don't Forget um, if the language is lost in the home, 
tikanga becomes lost and the history of the place can be under threat. Nō reira, nā mihi mai oha, ki au koutou katoa. Nā mihi. Nā mihi.